Hey y'all, look who's back. It's Miranda. Hey. She's got a great recipe for us. Go for it. Okay, I'm gonna make a no-bake strawberry shortcake and I found this recipe probably 14 years ago. Um, my dear friend Patty was having a birthday and she loves strawberries and so I found this recipe and ever since then it's been a family favorite. The so original recipe will be in the description box. So you're gonna need strawberries, cream cheese, Cool Whip, sugar, powdered sugar, and I do the store-bought pound cake. Okay, so I'm gonna start by washing my strawberries and cutting them up, and I'm gonna put some sugar on them and let them sit for a little bit while I work on the rest of the cake. Ways it don't matter. Okay, so I've got the strawberries ready and I added my sugar and I'm just gonna move it around. I like to use a Ziploc bag, it's just easy. Move the sugar around and then I will put it in the refrigerator and let it kind of sit while I finish the rest of the cake. Okay, now we're gonna do the filling. So I'm gonna do a container of Cool Whip. It's just the eight ounce. And then I'm gonna do one thing of cream cheese. And I had both of these sitting out, softening, getting to room temperature. And I'm gonna do a cup of powdered sugar. And we're just gonna mix that together. Okay, now you're just gonna mix this until it's well blended. You don't want any lumps from the cream cheese or anything. Okay, now we're gonna do the pound cake and we highly recommend the butter pound cake from the Walmart Bakery. It is so delicious. I've got dad here, he's going to Taste test it. Tell them how good this pound cake is. Give me the big piece. <laughs> you can, I'll run out. I won't have enough. Try it. You're smacking. Mm. <laughs> Plus the smack. Delicious. <laughs> it's good, right? Yes, very good. Very good. I'm having to redo this video because I left this very important clip out and I do apologize to Miranda. Uh, this shows her cubing the cake uh, and she tells on here that if she was doing the original recipe, she would use two, probably use two of those little loaf cakes from Walmart. Sorry, Miranda, but here you go. Okay, now that you have your pound cake cubed up, you're just going to kind of fold the cake in to the filling. And you can kind of adjust how much cake you like, how much filling you like. Okay, now you're just gonna put this in your pan. Spread it around. Okay, so you're just gonna press your cake, mix with the filling, just down in your pan. All right, so now that we have the cake and filling spread out, I'm just gonna take my Ziploc bag of strawberries and add them to the top. Yum, Miranda. It is delicious. And that juice, I bet it goes down in the Yes, cake. it does. And you can make this ahead of time if you want. A day ahead of time, it'll be delicious. I'm just gonna spread these out. And this is a family favorite. It is requested at a lot of our gatherings. Yes. Okay, there you go. Uh, just put in the refrigerator. All right, strawberry shortcake. As mom says, y'all go cook something. Thanks for watching.